apostate prophet suspended from Twitter. So for those who don't know, and if you don't know, I don't know how you don't know because you know, you're know you living under a rock. But if you don't know, apostate prophet is the world's largest ex-Muslim YouTuber. And he was recently suspended on Twitter for the most ridiculous reason I've heard in a while. So um, Rivon posted a little picture that was like a little picture of a little girl wearing a hijab holding a doll and it says Nipur Sharma did nothing wrong and this is in reference to the BJP spokesperson who had the quote-unquote blasphemous statements against the Prophet Muhammad when really she was literally just quoting like Islamic scripture and like facts about what Islam teaches and he had the com he posted this photo and then with the comment hashtag Nipur Sharma did nothing wrong it is Muhammad who married a child good point so um, if you scroll through this post on his YouTube community tab, you will see that he got suspended. And um, then it says. It's not yeah, it's not showing it. Um, when you post oh, images, on, when you post images on YouTube, you have to make them square or else it's not going to show the entire thing. But yeah, go on. Um, okay. Yeah, so. It, but he was suspended for alleged like hate speech, like advocating for violence against a community absolutely ridiculous um obviously that's nothing of the sort and it's literally just reiterating that muhammad is the one who married a child that's what's wrong not saying that he did so um and eric is bringing up a good point saying he was suspended for say, stating a fact meanwhile asim al-hakim who's one of the world's most famous islamic scholars um on twitter stated actually agreed that muhammad married a six-year-old aisha he was replying to people on twitter who were asking me like oh my god is this true is this true and he would reply he's like yes it's true and it's like blasphemy or it's like it's shirk i don't know if he said it's shirk but he said it's basically heresy to suggest otherwise so he's coming out in full force mm -hmm. saying yes this is true muhammad did do this um one of the most well-known islamic scholars so it's absolutely ridiculous the double standard is blinding um i mean uh I don't understand this. Like this obviously, obviously doesn't violate any of Twitter's community standards. Like it's, it just doesn't. Like, is this the algorithm or is this a person just making these decisions? Like, how is this? And how come when it's like, hold on, let me go. Because he posted the reason after. Where is it? Oh, my God. He posts a lot. Um, oh, because. Keep scrolling. Keep. Wow. He does post. Oh, here. No, no, no. Okay. It's right there. So, Yes, here. Your account has been suspended and will not be restored because it has found to be violating Twitter's. Okay, so this is after the appeal. So this is like hum a human actually looked into this. Terms of service, specifically the Twitter rules against hateful conduct. How is this hateful conduct? A hate against who? Who specifically are they? This is a hateful conduct towards. But let's let's Muslims, see, read the. I guess I don't know. But Muslims say this, like it's in their. They agree I know. With <laughs> I'm just guessing. <laughs> okay, so it it can't be a new poor Sharma because this is a defense of her. It can't mm -hmm. be Aisha because this is a defense of Aisha. You're saying Aisha was abused. It can't mm -hmm. be a hateful towards Muslims because Muslims agree that Muhammad. Um, like this is not something Islam disagrees with. Like Islam says that Muhammad did this. Okay, so but let me see what is hateful. Okay, it is against our rules to promote violence against or directly attack or threaten other people on the basis of race, ethnicity, national origin, sexual. Okay, it can't be any of these other than religious affiliation. Okay, so you're saying Twitter is saying that apostate prophet promoted violence or directly attacked muslims by this so is stating facts about your religion violent uh, directly attacking you on the basis of your religion i don't understand this makes no sense like I, i'm trying to say like, they hate him more than child marriage <laughs> yeah <laughs> Primary purpose of account to incite. Oh, so additionally, we if we determine that the primary purpose of an account is to incite harm towards other on the basis of these categories, that account may be suspended without prior warning. Okay, so ridiculous. 
Islam is against Islam, apparently. I don't understand. Stating things that are true about Islam is anti-Muslim. I mean, I kind of agree, actually. Wait a minute. I agree with Twitter. Islam is anti-Muslim. Islam is anti-Muslim. Okay? I, tr I agree with that. Okay? Islam harms Muslims. However... I agree, actually, as well. It, however, if that is your standard, then... You should ban every single Islamic Twitter account. <laughs> you know, I mean? like as a, a, you know, based. I don't understand. Wait, so it, what? If, okay, so if a, here's a question. Okay, what about the tweets by Muslims on Twitter who are saying that yeah, th this is what Muhammad did? Do they get banned? So no. If no, so if you are an Islamic, you know, if you are a Muslim and you have a Twitter account. And you're saying yes, Muhammad did this, and it's okay. You don't get banned. But if this, if another account says yes, Muhammad did this, and it's not okay, then you get banned. You are understanding correctly. So, if we did if we do some deduction here, okay, what Mah what Apostle Prophet did wrong is that he he disagreed with abuse of children. So Twitter's community standard requires you to put a stamp of approval on child abuse, then you would not get banned. Because the, the statement of what Muhammad did is equal in both of them. Is the approval or condemnation of it that Twitter has an issue. So you better agree with Muhammad's child abuse for your Twitter account to stay intact. That's the conclusion that we could get from this. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I went on a rant. Absolutely. Next, insane. Uh, so yeah. one thing we can do to help out. Okay. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I forgot that. I part. well, unfortunately, Armin is banned on Twitter. I am banned on Twitter. And Atheist Republic is banned on Twitter. So I can't do this and I can't show you guys a cute little <laughs> tweet. But what you can Take do to help hand. is um, oh, that's true. Um you can tweet at Twitter support and make sure to use the hashtag, hashtag restore apostate profit. I want us to have a Twitter storm of tagging at Twitter support, hashtag restore apostate profit, explain very nicely why this is absolutely ridiculous, how this does not violate Twitter's policies, how this does not incite hate against a community that agrees that this is a fact within their understanding of their religion. So, if you have a Twitter, please, please, please make sure to use the hashtag, hashtag restore apostate profit and be nice when you tweet at Twitter support. Um, it's important that you are not painting a bad picture of our profit, okay? When talking to the Twitter, please be nice to the Twitter. We're trying to get a favor. We would like him back. <laughs> um, Wait so a second, you you're out. right. He is a prophet. This is the banning of our, pro insulting our prophet is a violation of TOS. How, co how come when Muslims prophets are, Muslim prophet is attacked, that's against terms of, terms of service. But when our prophet, when the apostate prophet, this is blasphemy against the atheist. You are, you are by attacking our prophet, you are promoting violence or di directly attacking us ex-Muslims. And we are extremely offended. Bring back. Is this not promoting back. harm? Yeah, this is like this is profit versus profit. How come? We, how come we can't attack their profit and they can attack our profit? We should have the hashtag bring back our profit. Is that not a better hashtag? <laughs> bring back. <laughs> hashtag bring back our profit. Yes. Uh, hashtag restore positive profit. Hashtag we bring should, back our profit. Should, I like it. That's that, cute. <laughs> We should we should frame this as an attack on our beliefs. You know, they mm -hmm. are they are attacking mm -hmm. our prophet. I think maybe they maybe they will all they will take it seriously if we frame it in an Islamic way. Anyways, just an idea. Okay. <laughs> I actually like that. <laughs> I don't know, it could it could work. Um, yeah, guys. Please go tweet on behalf of a prostate prophet. I would really like to see him back on Twitter. Okay, so the, the two hashtags are one reinstate apostate prophet, right? Restore apostate Restore. Prophet. Or reinstate. Hashtag, Those both work. No, no, let's focus on one so we get actually some. Okay. Hashtag restore apostate prophet. Hashtag 
bring back our profit. There and we go. tag at Twitter support. At tag at Twitter support, yes. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.